decentralization. Decentralize your life. Okay. Welcome to Decentralization Sunday. I am the American Curmudgeon, and this is where we talk about media that's decentralized. And what that means is that is not streaming, not on Spotify, not on YouTube, no algorithm, and no big corporation is making one little cent on it. You own it. You own it forever. What a concept. So let's get on to it. You wanted the best. You got the best. The hottest band in the world. <laughs> That's right. I got Kiss Alive too. Did I own this in the 70s? You're fucking A right I did, but I had it on vinyl, which that really is the way you want to own this record because all Kiss early records all had really cool like fold out fucking big huge booklets and stickers and tattoos and pull out fucking things and, and order forms. It was so fucking cool. And Kiss Alive 2 had one of the baddest fucking book booklets I've ever seen. This album came out when I was eight years old. Little tiny little John. Hi, I'm a little American curmudgeon. <laughs> All right, calm down. This album rocks. It's awesome. But really the fucking, the, the meat on the bone is the very last all American man rocking in the USA Larger Than Life, Rocket Ride, and Any Way You Want It. If you had the double record, it's the last side. It's side four. That is the rock star. That's the good shit. Yeah, I mean, you get like some credits, but then you get that. And that's pretty cool. That's Kiss. That That is, I mean, dude, you're literally, you're playing in fire. Now, this is when Kiss started getting more gay. They recorded their very first disco song. This is for the album Dynasty. This was my very first, my very first concert was on this tour. Still have the tour book, which is the shit. Now, here's the deal, Schmiel. I bought this. I got it for $3.50. So you're like, well, I don't know. Can I at least get a back cover? Can I get a side? No, dude, this should have been in the dollar bin. When I saw this version, the remastered version for $5.95. Yeah, remastered. You got the back cover. You got the fucking inside booklet. Isn't that badass? Isn't that cool? I like how Gene Simmons is like, uh, my name is Gene Simmons. Uh, someone next to me is making more money than me. I'm fucking really pissed off because I'm a Jew. <laughs> I saw this one of my favorite. This is an import. So they charged $7.95. I was happy to get it because it's Creatures of the Night. This came out when I was in ninth grade. This is when they um try to get heavy metal again. It's got the song loud i want to hear it loud right between the eyes loud i want to hear it loud don't want no compromise the greatest drum sound in the fucking world it was so good and the song i love it loud is great war machine is awesome and the title track creatures of the night is pretty fucking good play it really loud in your car and last but not least this was also 795 uh Kiss Lick It Up. This is in perfect condition. This is this is one year later. So Creatures of the Night actually came out in 1982. I was in ninth grade. This came out in 1983. This is Lick It Up. This is when they took off their fucking makeup. The songs off this that you want to look for is Lick It Up, the title track. Young and Wasted is pretty good. All hell's breaking loose. So there you go. It's a Kiss... It's a cornucopia of Kiss, starting with the 70s, going into the late 70s and early 80s. And I'm really, really happy with these purchases. So so that's it. That's, uh, that's my cornucopia of Kiss on CD, state-of-the-art compact disc. This is Decentralization Sunday. I am the American Curmudgeon, and thank you for watching.